What's going on gamers? Today we are going to be going over the Minecraft mod, Chisels and Bits, and how to install it. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. When playing vanilla Minecraft, building is obviously a massive part of the gameplay. However, after some time, you might find that using the same materials gets boring, and you might want to look for something that can give you a little bit more detail. I know we've all seen the massive buildings and structures that people make, and if you're anything like me, you've always wondered how they do it. That is where Chisels and Bits comes in, a massively popular mod with over 71 million downloads that allows you to create and place tiny chunks of a block, giving you the ability to make your own little decorations and changes that you weren't able to make before. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install this mod. First, head to the Chisels and Bits CurseForge page linked below. Press Files at the top and then search for your desired version. Next, press the download button to the right of the file to begin your download. Save the jar file in a safe location because we will need it again in just a moment. You are going to want to download the Forge Mod Loader installer that matches your mod version. This will also be in the description below. Run the jar file that is downloaded. Click Install Client. Make sure the file path is correct and then press OK to install. Next, open the Minecraft Launcher and then head to Installations at the top. Locate your installed Forge profile and then press the Folder button to the far right. Once the file browser opens, find or create a Mods folder and then enter it. Copy and paste your Mods jar file from earlier into this folder. Return to the Minecraft Launcher, select your Forge profile and then press Play. This will start the game and load up the mod on your computer. If you want this mod available on your server, you'll want to follow these steps. Head to your Apex server panel and stop the server. Scroll down to the jar file section and change the server version to match your mod. Choose whether or not to generate a new world, but don't restart the server just yet. Head to FTP file access on the left hand side and then log in on the next page. Enter or create a mods folder. And once inside, press upload in the top left. Drag and drop the mods jar file from earlier into the right hand side. Once your files are 100% uploaded, you can return to the main panel page and restart the server. Now that you have the mod installed, you can get started with the following. The first tool that you will need to create is the chisel. This simple recipe requires only a single stick and one main material such as gold. The easiest chisel is made out of stone, with the best thing being either diamond or netherite based on your version. The better the material, the more durability it has. Depending on your version, you can use stone, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite. Once you have your chisel, it's time to start collecting bits. When you hold the chisel, you should see a smaller square when looking at a block. Simply break the block like normal to begin collecting bits. From there, you can hold the bits in your hand in order to place them back down in any shape that you wish to. Placing blocks one by one can get a little bit tedious, so the mod also includes several chisel modes on both the bits and the chisel itself. The default keybind for this is often Alt or R. Some of these mods include Cube, which is often the default, and it allows players to place different sizes from a single bit. Plane, which allows for different thicknesses of a variety of blocks. This is great for creating custom floor tiles or even turning any blocks into slabs. Line also allows for varying thickness through the blocks to make it wider or narrower. This can be helpful for creating pipes, railing, or even a rope for a swing. Now let's go over some common issues. If your server isn't starting up after adding the mod, this is most likely caused by an issue with the installation. 
make sure that your server is running the same Forge version as your mods. Otherwise, make sure no other mods from a different version are present, as this can cause a crash. If your existing world isn't working with the mod, make sure that the mods are compatible with the same version as the world. If the items aren't working on your server, double check that the jar files are uploaded into the mods folder in your server panel. If they're in any other folder, they won't work. Try restarting your server one more time to load up the files. If you get an error when joining the server, this could happen if the mods are installed on the server but not on your own game. Make sure you installed Forge on your own computer as well as all of the players that will be joining the server as they will all need the mods installed on their own client in order to join and play. With that, you should now have Chisels and Bits installed and know how to get started. This mod can be used for simple adjustments or insanely massive details. Players can use it for detailed staircases, signs, decorations, or you could make an entire house out of it. With the ability to use almost any block, vanilla or modded, Chisels and Bits has the potential to create some of the most amazing creations you've ever seen. Now that you know how to use this mod, let your imagination run wild. You'll be amazed with how many new things you can create by using Chisels and Bits. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have tons of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.